My name's Aaron Croman. I'm an independent artist, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to ink your comics. Okay, so so far we I put down a little bit of uh, pencil lines, and now we got to ink them. So uh, what do we use? Well, we can use uh, I'm going to use a marker. Uh, you can also use uh, nibs and ink, uh, or you can use uh, brushes and ink. Uh, it's up to you. You can use a lot of different things. Uh, what I would suggest is whether you're left-handed or right-handed, uh, right-handed, go to the top left corner uh, and start your inking there. That way, if your hand gets kind of rubs into it, uh, it won't smear and make it just look like a mess, or even worse uh, when you uh, well these dry too fast, but. Uh, Sometimes you might make a big smear and just put a bunch of lines across your artwork. And then you need to get out some uh, pro white or some type of uh, white paint uh, to put on there, white out, uh, though it can be a pain sometimes to use. But yeah, you, you don't want you want to try and avoid putting your hands on the same place twice. Um, now it's a common misconception that uh, inking is all about uh, just kind of tracing what you have on there, and it's not. Now it, you can. Uh, there's no problem with that, but uh, there is a little bit uh, more to it than that, such as uh, this little th uh, hair. I had could have gone uh, just a just a straight line like I had it, or I just did a little extra more with it. Uh, you can also um, put different line weights and stuff that the line art never had before. And so you can uh, add to uh, what was already drawn by you or someone else. Um, and add expressiveness to the lines and everything. Yes, uh, markers I like because they're pretty precise and I can uh, vary the line uh, well enough. It's mostly for the cleanliness because uh, uh, ink kind of gets all over the place and uh, I don't want it to uh, drip and well get all over the place. So I like the, clean, the cleanliness of markers. Uh, but there's a lot more flow and a lot more uh, fun things you can do with uh, ink such as uh, vary the line width and a lot of expression with brushes. Now other things that you do with your inks uh, compared to with pencils and stuff is uh, this would be where you kind of put this shading. Now there may or not be shading with the pencils uh, but this would be where you can put it. So here I'm just going to put some simple hatching, just kind of put a little shadow on his face. Or heck, if I uh, use this side, uh, if he has stubble on his face, you can do that too. That's a, uh, another okay, cool trick. Um, you can use a line to kind of make a little area of where you have the shading. It's uh, sometimes used a lot in manga, uh, but American stuff too. And just kind of a lot of shade. And now for those who are more uh, uh, use their are pencil, pencilers and inkers, uh, you can uh, just kind of have the build lines and then from this, this is just kind of the, the head just kind of shows me the lines that I need to know and from this I can ink a whole face. It's uh, so just all from the build lines and it can actually save you time and sometimes make it a little uh, a little bit more on the fly so it's less tracing like and uh, more just drawing with a pen but with a little help. Inking can be a chore, but it can also be a lot of fun. It uh, depends whether you're just kind of uh, 
tracing it or you want to ma make a lot more with the inks. You want to do a lot more with it uh, and just add your own art style to maybe someone else's pencils. My name's Aaron Croman and good luck with your art.